Oh, no, no, not inside, just from the outside. Yeah, yeah. Nazi Nathaniel here in Quezon City, Metro Manila. And right now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Church of Scientology, Mission of the Philippines. Yeah! There is Scientology in the Philippines. And I'm going to make sure that our friends at the Church of Scientology here in Metro Manila respect and honor my constitutionally protected right under Philippine law to take photos and videos in public. And hopefully, good old Miss Gavage will approve of this audit. Oh, we got some, uh, some movement in there. We got somebody, uh, somebody moving around there. And now he's, or was he peeking around the bookshelf at me? But, uh, over here we got some people. This looks like, uh, maybe it's some kind of a waiting area. Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Alright, oh yeah. Ah, there is life in there. Yeah, when I first got here, all the lights were off, and I, I checked their hours, and uh, they are open. They're open from uh, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. I was actually going to come over here uh, yesterday, but Friday was the only day they were um, were uh, closed. So what do you know about that? But yeah, this is it. This is the uh, Church of Scientology. Mission of the Philippines. It actually used to be called um, the Mission of Manila, and it was in Pasig, which is in another part of uh, the greater metro Manila area. But when I searched that one, it said it had closed. And I was at first, I kind of thought, oh, okay, well, I guess uh, Scientology has gotten out of uh, out of style in the Philippines. But uh, then uh, I did a, another search, and I found that there was this one. So they moved. So I don't know if it's still the same mission holder, or maybe the other one went, uh, maybe he went bankrupt, or, or I don't know, maybe he blew the org, uh, you know, maybe he's uh, hiding out uh, with a young man in Thailand. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to stand out here on the uh, public sidewalk, exercise my uh, rights under Philippine law to take uh, photos and videos of uh, the Scientology mission of the Philippines. And uh, hopefully we uh, won't have to uh, paddle anyone's booty if they misbehave. So this is actually a part of a... I think we're getting contact here. Hi! Huh? Uh, yeah, of Scientology. Yeah. How are you doing? You have a permit there? Huh? I only need a permit if I go inside. If I'm outside, I can film from the street. There's another person who thinks I need a permit. What if he's going to go in there and... Oh yeah, he's going to go squeal to Scientology. Oh yeah. See if we can get a shot of that. Yeah, he's going to go tell the... He's going to go tattle on me. Yeah, that looks like the entrance there. That's a weird door. It's like got all this, it's like, is it coated white or something so you can't see in? I don't know. I can see through the side right here. There's that uh, staff member or whatever he is. Or I don't know, maybe he's a, maybe he's a male escort. I don't know. He's, uh, he's standing there guarding the door. I wonder if... Uh, or if he knows I'm out here. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to be too interested. He's obviously very focused on uh, what he's doing there in the uh, the org, or should I say the mission. There he is. There's the... Uh, I imagine he's probably on staff. He's probably a staff member. He looks like, uh, like he's the greeter. Maybe he's the... Uh, maybe he runs uh, reception. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe he's a Sea Org member. Maybe he makes uh, 
fifty dollars a, a week uh, scrubbing toilets with a toothbrush. I don't. <laughs> For those of you who may not understand uh, the difference between a Scientology mission and uh, a Scientology org is that, uh, well there's actually a big difference. Uh, the orgs are actual uh, organizations that are run by the church itself where missions are independently owned and operated by public Scientologists. Um, kind of like franchises, you know, how you have like, let's say you have corporate 7-Elevens and then you have uh, franchises. Well, the missions are, it's, are uh, they're independently run by, like I said, public Scientologists. And they usually offer like lower level courses. You know, the more advanced courses you would have to go to a, like an ideal org. You know, like uh, Big Blue or something like that. Oh, he's putting on a backpack. Maybe he's going to come out? Oh. Well, we might get to meet a Scientologist, folks. Oh, here he comes. Oh, there's a couple of them coming out. Wow. Oh, wow. We've got a couple uh, live Filipino Scientologists. Wow. Oh, she looks jovial. How are you? I'm good. Uh, are you a Scientologist? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. Is this a new mission? Yes. Um, we're looking, this is the bookstore. And there's a, there's a unit at the ninth floor. Where oh, so this is just the bookstore? Just the bookstore. And then there's a unit at the ninth floor where, you, where the lecture area and the course room is located. Oh, okay. So the the old mission, the mission of Manila, used to be in Pasig, right? That's right. That's right. We moved there uh, years ago because it was small. What was that? Because it was small. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Expand. Is it still the same mission holder, Robert? That's right. That's Robert's right. still the mission holder. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was I was here several years ago. How's it working out for you? I'm great. Yeah. yeah. Where where are, you, where are you at on the bridge right now? I'm are you already training wise I'm training wise I'm higher oh okay I'm just on uh, SRD oh okay yeah all right well thanks for being nice and talking to me you know I'm just a, I'm a vlogger you know I, I kind of got a fetish for Scientology so I, I've traveled around to a lot of different <laughs> different you know I've been to I've been to flag you know I've been to you know pack base and and so I just wanted to come here and, and check it out because I, I remember the old one I met Robert before you know he's an American Right? That's right. Yeah, he's an American guy. Okay, yeah. awesome. And uh, all right, well, I, I won't keep. Oh, can I ask one question? Do you do you know Parker Osman? No. Was he ever on course here, or Parker Osman? Parker, Parker Osman. Yeah. No. no. Oh, okay. Well, well, thank you for being nice. My name is Nate. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. Well, like I said, I won't keep you guys from yeah. uh, getting wherever you need to go. <laughs> so, yeah. all right. You're a vlogger. Yeah, I'm a blogger. What, what social media accounts? I have a YouTube channel. You want to check out my YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah, it's called Silence Boy. Silence Boy. Silence Boy First Amendment. Okay. Yeah. Silence Boy. I'll search you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check me out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Press subscribe and hit the bell. You get notifications. That's right. You don't ever miss a video. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right. All right. Salama, thank you for being nice. I really appreciate it. <laughs> bye bye. All right. That was nice. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this audit up. I've been here for uh, a bit and uh, it's starting to get dark and uh, all the creepy crawlers of Manila come out after dark. Not all the creepy crawlers are bad though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the Scientology mission of the Philippines a big A plus pass. They did it right. I wonder why more uh, Scientology orgs in uh, the United States can't uh, be more friendly like they were here. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they did it right here. They, uh, you know, they didn't freak out. Uh, they didn't invite me inside like they did in Detroit or uh, Nashville, but uh, uh, that was, those were kind of some rare exceptions. 
Uh, most of them just uh, freak out and want to, would probably want to shoot me if uh, they were, could get away with it. Anyways, uh, you guys already know the verdict. Pass. And so I'm going to head on out of here. I got a hot date tonight. That's right. Old Nasty Nathaniel's got a hot margarita date. Well, not a date with a margarita, but an actual, you know, man. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate all your support. And until next time, may the audits <laughs> or the tasty tandoi ice be with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate all your support.